Welcome back to Health Hack Guru. Today, we're talking about 10 healthy foods and drinks that can help with blood sugar control. If you're one of the millions of people who struggle with high blood sugar levels, you'll be glad to know that there are plenty of healthy foods and drinks that can help you manage your blood sugar naturally. Check out this video till the end to get the expert approved picks that also offer bonus health perks. Number one on our list is oatmeal for filling fiber. Oatmeal contains beta glucan that is a heart healthy soluble fiber, which slows down the absorption of sugar in the bloodstream, prevents blood sugar spikes and helps to keep blood sugar levels stable. Oats are also rich in magnesium, which is known to help with insulin sensitivity. So, try to incorporate a bowl of oats into your breakfast routine to help regulate your blood sugar. But, keep in mind that not all oatmeal is created equal, so opt for a steel cut or old-fashioned variety. Instant oatmeal can be loaded with sugar. Also remember that oatmeal is a carbohydrate, so you'll need to practice proper portion control. A standard portion is half cup of cooked oatmeal. Enjoy it for breakfast, add it to a smoothie, or use it to make homemade granola bars. Number 2 on our list are nuts. Diabetes makes you more likely to have high LDL, or bad cholesterol, so adding nuts to your diabetes diet is a smart move. Nuts are a great source of healthy fats, protein, and fiber, making them an excellent snack choice for blood sugar control. They are low in carbohydrates and have a low glycemic index, which means they won't cause a sudden spike in blood sugar levels. Almonds, walnuts, and other nuts can help regulate blood sugar levels. Particularly, almonds are very nutritious for people with diabetes. They are high in vitamin E and are a good source of magnesium. Almonds also contain fiber, which is an important nutrient for people with diabetes as it can improve blood sugar levels by slowing the rate at which sugar is absorbed. Almonds are an excellent source of unsaturated fats, which can help lower your LDL cholesterol and raise your HDL, or good, cholesterol levels. Add almonds to salads or try a tablespoon of almond butter on apple slices as a snack. Just watch your portions since the calories and carb count can really add up if left unchecked, and stay away from packaged nuts that may contain added sugar and salt. Number 3 on our list is beans for plant-based protein. Beans are a great source of soluble fiber and an inexpensive source of protein that is low on the glycemic index, making them ideal for preventing big swings in blood sugar levels. A higher fiber content in foods is beneficial for slowing the rise in blood glucose levels because it takes longer for your system to break down the fibrous foods. Beans can be called as a superfood for people with diabetes. Try eating beans in soups, tacos, burritos, curry dishes, and salads. Number 4 is salmon. Salmon is an excellent source of healthy fats and protein. It is a rich source of key nutrients. This fatty fish is a good source of omega-3 fatty acids. According to the American Heart Association, omega-3 fatty acids in fatty fish, like salmon, can improve heart health, which is especially important for people with diabetes because of their increased risk of heart disease. It's also low in carbohydrates and has a low glycemic index, making it a great choice for blood sugar control. Salmon is also rich in vitamin D, and getting a healthy dose of vitamin D is important, as low levels of vitamin D have been associated with type 2 diabetes. Salmon can help improve insulin sensitivity and reduce inflammation in the body, so, try incorporating some salmon into your weekly meal plan for a healthy and delicious dinner. Top your salads with grilled or broiled salmon, and try baking salmon patties. Number 5 on our list is kale. Kale is loaded with nutrients that can help improve blood sugar control. It is high in fiber, which slows down the absorption of sugar in the bloodstream. Kale can be considered a superfood, because it offers a slew of essential nutrients, including vitamins A, C, E, and K, iron, calcium, and potassium. Plus, it's low in calories and carbs. The glycemic load of kale is very low, around 1 or 2. Kale contains bile acid sequestrants. These can lower LDL cholesterol. You can toss kale into a salad, steam it, or bake it into chips. Number 6 is spinach. Spinach is a nutritious green leafy vegetable that can be beneficial for individuals with diabetes. Spinach is a low-calorie food, high in fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. It has a low glycemic index, which means it does not cause a rapid increase in blood sugar levels. This makes it a good choice for individuals with diabetes. Spinach is high in fiber, which can help slow down the absorption of sugar in the bloodstream and promote better blood sugar control. It is an excellent source of vitamins A, C, and K as well as minerals such as iron and calcium. These nutrients can help improve overall health and support the immune system. Spinach contains antioxidants such as lutein and zeaxanthine, which can help protect against damage from free radicals and reduce inflammation in the body. Spinach is a very versatile vegetable that can be used in a variety of dishes, such as salads, stir-fries, soups, and smoothies. Number 7 on our list is cinnamon as a smart sweetener. Another possible blood sugar management tactic is to incorporate new flavors in your plate by way of diabetes-friendly spices, and when it comes to sweetening food, 
consider adding cinnamon to the top of your list. Cinnamon is a delicious spice that has been shown to help lower blood sugar levels by increasing insulin sensitivity. One study suggests that cinnamon is associated with a drop in fasting blood sugar levels, while it may help increase insulin sensitivity, reduce inflammation, and lower LDL cholesterol. But ultimately, results may vary from person to person, depending in part on the type and amount of cinnamon used. Cinnamon won't add much nutrition-wise as it doesn't contain calories, protein, fat, or carbohydrates and has a glycemic load of zero. But your taste buds will thank you and your blood sugar levels may improve. Try adding cinnamon to tea or sprinkle it on top of fruits like bananas and apples. You can also sprinkle cinnamon to your meals to reap its benefits. Add some cinnamon on your oatmeal for a tasty and healthy blood sugar boost. Number 8 is green tea for polyphenols. Japan and China have been known to use tea for medicinal purpose for thousands of years, but its exact health benefits in treating or preventing ailments like cancer, heart disease, and diabetes are unknown. Some research offers clues as to how green tea in particular may impact insulin resistance and blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes. Green tea contains powerful antioxidants, which can help reduce inflammation in the body. It's also been shown to help improve insulin sensitivity and reduce blood sugar levels. A research review suggested that people who drank 6 or more cups of green tea per week were 33% less likely to develop type 2 diabetes than people who consumed only a cup of green tea per week. The review cited a study that suggested those who drank green tea regularly for more than a decade had smaller waistlines and a lower body fat composition than those who didn't consume green tea regularly. The superbrew also contains polyphenols, antioxidants shown to regulate glucose in the body, which may help to prevent or control diabetes. Green tea does not contain calories, carbohydrates, protein, or fat, and has a glycemic load of zero. So, try swapping your morning coffee for a cup of green tea to give your blood sugar a healthy boost. But, when drinking green tea, mind your caffeine intake, because too much may affect your sleep. Number 9 Vinegar for a healthier salad dressing base. The potential health benefits of vinegar are still under investigation, but previous research found that vinegar helped improve insulin sensitivity to high-carb meals in people with diabetes or insulin resistance. The findings suggest that vinegar's effects on the body are similar to the effects of the commonly used diabetes drug metformin. Vinegar has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and lower blood sugar levels when consumed before meals. And a study published in the Journal of Community Hospital Internal Medicine found that vinegar slowed the absorption of sugar. Researchers found that apple cider vinegar added to a high-carb meal improved fasting blood sugar levels and insulin sensitivity. A tablespoon of apple cider vinegar contains zero calories, zero carbohydrates, zero protein, and zero fat. The lack of carbohydrates means it has a glycemic load of zero. Try using it as a base for a homemade salad dressing. Number 10 can be a yummy treat for those trying to manage their blood sugar levels. Dark chocolate for flavonoids. Yes you heard it right. It may sound surprising to learn that dark chocolate can be part of a diabetes-friendly diet. But dark chocolate can have some potential benefits for individuals with diabetes. Dark chocolate has a lower glycemic index than milk chocolate or other sweets, which means it doesn't cause a rapid increase in blood sugar levels. Dark chocolate is high in antioxidants, such as flavonoids, which can help reduce inflammation in the body and protect against damage from free radicals. Some studies have shown that consuming dark chocolate may improve insulin sensitivity, which is important for individuals with diabetes. High blood pressure is a common complication of diabetes, and some studies have shown that consuming dark chocolate may help lower blood pressure. A review of research studies involving more than 1 lakh 14,000 people found that those who ate the most chocolate had a 31% lower risk of diabetes and a significantly reduced risk for heart disease and stroke compared with people who ate the least. A separate study found that having about 10 grams of flavonoid-rich cocoa powder a day, about 1.5 tablespoons, could lower LDL cholesterol and triglyceride levels in people with diabetes. However, keep in mind that dark chocolate is also high in calories and fat, and consuming too much can contribute to weight gain and other health issues. Additionally, many commercial brands of dark chocolate contain added sugars and other ingredients that may not be beneficial for individuals with diabetes. If you decide to incorporate dark chocolate into your diet, choose a high-quality brand that ideally contains at least 85% cocoa and little to no added sugars. Also, be sure to consume it in moderation. Limit yourself to one small square a day. And there you have it. 10 healthy foods and drinks that can help with your blood sugar control. Incorporating these foods into your diet can help you manage your blood sugar levels and improve your overall health. Strategic diet choices can help you hit your A1C goal. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share the video and subscribe for more such helpful health hacks.